This is what it looks like to finish well. For the Colson Center, I'm John Stone Street with The Point. This past Wednesday morning, a man named Ted Mathis announced his father had died a champion. 48 hours before he died, Ted wrote, Dad was wheeled to the nursing home chapel to preach his final sermon. Christ was worthy, even with a cracked hip, failing kidneys, and a 95-year-old body, bruised and stitched together from numerous falls of late, end quote something unusual and inspiring about a life lived so faithfully to the very end. It's what we want for ourselves, but we see so rarely. Of course, the only way really to end well is to live well, what can be called a long obedience. At funerals, we often hear how someone's in a better place. They are, but it's also true that God has called us here to make this a better place. So let's live like this godly man in such a way that our end is the capstone of a life lived well, restoring all things to God's will. For the Colson Center, I'm John Stone Street with The Point.